Now we are going to start with the preparation. So we have few uh, important substances from which we can actually prepare the haloalkanes. So just look at the board. They are alcohols. As you all know, alcohols are ROH, the general formula. We can prepare it from alkenes. That means a compound which contain at least one double bond in it. Alkanes, you all know that paraffins, that is the uh, compound of uh, carbon with single bond and silver salts of carboxylic acid that means this thing. So we can prepare by uh, these methods. So first I am taking into consideration that is the alcohol. So as you can see that uh, uh, as you all know that alcohols are basically ROH right. So we can prepare uh, alkyl halide from alcohol by using three things. One is the phosphorus halides. So basically I have wrote PCL5 and PCL3, you can take phosphorus uh, bromide also and phosphorus for uh, this thing tribromide also or pentabromide. So I have taken PCL5 and PCL3, you can take any phosphorus halide. We are just concerned that it reacts with phosphorus uh, halide actually. Second is thionyl chloride and third is by use of halogen acid. So now we look one by one that actually how they help in formation of, uh, of alkyl halide from alcohol. So first preparation what we are doing is from alcohol. So the first method as I told you is by we can prepare by using we can prepare by using this thing uh, the phosphorus halides. So let's say PCL5, PCL3 or PBR5 we can use that right. And uh, the basic things uh, behind this reaction to occur is that we all know that the bond between C and X is polar partial negative and partial positive charge. So we can uh, and uh, also we can have this CH bond. So that means this bond formed is slightly stronger as compared to this bond. That is why the haloalkanes are slightly more, uh, they are also stable because they have the dipole interactions between them. But still they show many kind of nucleophilic uh, elimination reaction or something that we will discuss in the chemical properties. But here our concern is to learn that how it is formed from alcohol first. So it is formed by using the phosphorus halides that is the PCL5, PCL3, PBR5 like that. So let us uh, look for the general reaction. Let us say that this is alcohol, right, any alcohol. R can be anything, you know that, uh, ranges from one to many. We are adding PCL5. So what do we get? We get our alkyl halide that is RCL. Along with that we get POCl3. And along with that we get hydrochloric acid. Let us uh, take one example. So let us say we have methanol. I am adding PCL5 to it. So what I will get? I will get RCL. So that means I will get methyl chloride and my side products will remain same POCl3 plus HCl. So as I took PCL5 likewise I can take PCL3 also. So let us write the general reaction for that. So again Rx that is RCl and the byproduct in this case will be phosphoric acid, right. So this is uh, the uh, reaction uh, by which we can use the PCl3 and uh, we add it into alcohol and we get the alkyl halide. Just write an example. Let us say again we have methanol, we add phosphorus trichloride, we need to have RCl. So this is our RCl methyl chloride and along with that we get a phosphoric acid. So this is the reaction by which uh, by using PCL5 or phosphorus halides we can actually prepare the alcohol. But you know that there is a certain limitation to this uh, process actually. The limitation is that like if we talk of primary, al al uh, primary alkyl halide so yield is good. But uh, if we take into consideration second degree or three degree then the yield is low. So that means this method is generally used for preparing the primary alkyl halides not the secondary or the tertiary but the yield uh, because the yield that is produced uh, by this reaction is generally low for uh, 2 degree and 3 degree otherwise it is good method for the primary formation of primary alkyl halides. So the second method what we are going to do is from thionyl chloride. Now you must be thinking that what is thionyl chloride? It is, it is SOCl2 and here the reaction is going to take place in presence of pyridine. So let us write a general reaction. So we have our alcohol ROH, we are going to add thionyl chloride 
and this reaction obviously occur in presence of pyridine and what do we get Rx, RCl right and uh, the byproducts HCl and SO2 these are volatile they just escape so it is hydrochloride gas and this is sulfur dioxide gas. So uh, like we will take an example for that let us say methanol we add SOCl2 in presence of same the pyridine what do we get RCl so this is CH3Cl along with that we get SO2 and HCl they are volatile they will escape actually this method is a good method because in this the byproducts are volatile so they do not contaminate the product right so this is what is the uh, formation of alcohol by using uh, sorry formation of alkyl halide by using alcohol and reacting it with the thionyl chloride there is a special name given to this process that is darzen's method this is called as darzen's method so so you can use thionyl chloride to prepare from by reacting with alcohol in order to prepare the alkyl halide. Third, we can use the halogen acid also. So let us use the halogen acid. We know that halogen acid is the halogen, uh, the hydrogen and with some halogen. It can be HBr, it can be HI, it can be HCl, it can be HF, any. But uh, mostly uh, the acids which are used are these because they are their reactivity in this order so they are mostly preferred right so now how, what is the basic reaction which is going to happen is let's say roh reacts with the let's say hx so what general reaction is going to take place and one more thing this reaction actually take place in presence of a dehydrating agent can be in hydrous z and cl2 or concentrated sulfuric acid we can use either of because we need a dehydrating agent here so which will, which will just eliminate the water so let us say it is anhydrous ZL, ZNCl2 so what uh, what is going to happen this R will get combined with this X and this will combine to form water because this will actually absorb the water <coughs> and moreover you know that what is the function of these things in hydrous Z and Cl2 and concentrate H2SO4, this somehow weaken this bond. This weak, it actually weakens the bond so that the product formed is, uh, the, you can say, the, so that the fast the product is formed. So, this is what is the reaction. Let us take an example <coughs> methanol, let us say HCl, Z and Cl2 and hydrous RCl methyl chloride with water. If we have a special name for this reaction in which we add uh, hydrogen chloride and we get the methyl chloride and that is something called as grooves process. It is called as grooves process. Likewise, we can do it uh, by adding another halogen acid. Let us say CH3OH, I am adding HBr. So what do I get? The same thing in hydrogen Z and Cl2 that is RCl with H2. Likewise, I can do it for uh, by adding hydrogen iodic acid also, but here uh, you do not need to take any acid, do not take, take any H2SO4 and hydrogen and Cl2. What we prefer to take is phosphoric acid because we need a weak acid. So, it forms uh, CH3I plus H2. So, this is what is the reaction that is by using these compounds by reacting them with alcohol you can actually form the haloalkanes. So, you can see that from alcohol we can prepare by using phosphorus halides. It is the simple thing RCl, Rx that means POCl3 because whenever you are using PCl5 your byproduct is going to be POCl3 and HCl. But whenever you are using PCl3 your byproduct is going to be Rx along with that you will get a phosphoric acid H3PO3. You need to remember that and also you need to remember about the uh, limitation for this process the yield of 1 degree is good but comparatively 2 and 3 degrees low and for uh, thionyl chloride it is a good method because when you react the byproducts are volatile HCl and SO2 they will escape they will not contaminate the main product and this is something called as Darzen's method. We can also form by using an halogen acid but whenever we are using an halogen acid you have to keep in mind that we will be using a 
dehydrating agent mostly in hydrous ZnCl2 or concentrated sulfuric acid because here we need to weaken the bond so that the water is eliminated. So this is what happened here and uh, it is uh, like when you add a halogen uh, chloride, hydrogen chloride to an alcohol it is basically called as a groups process. So this is how you are going to carry out that by using alcohol you can prepare the haloalkenes. So let us start with the second method that is the alkenes that how you can prepare the haloalkenes by using the alkenes. So just look at the both. 